guys! I have one of my most favorite kinds of videos to film for you today, and that is a nail polish haul. For some reason, I guess I got it into my head that I desperately needed springtime colors. Um, I do have quite a few nail polishes already, so as you know, I probably didn't need anything. But, um, I've been getting some really good deals, and I kind of treated myself, so... I have a bunch of stuff. I've been holding off on this um, probably since the beginning of the year, I believe. Some of these I've had a little while, some of them are brand new, but um, the collection has been growing and before I had a bag of literally a hundred polishes that I couldn't go through one at a time, I thought I'd better go ahead and make this video for you now. So uh, before I start, I do want to say I have two other haul videos pending. It might just be one other haul video because it's not as much stuff. Um, I picked up something from Sephora. I was sent something from my friend Abby, um, makeup related, and a couple other odds and ends. So if you like that kind of video, then stay tuned for those in the next few weeks. And if you don't like nail polish videos or makeup videos and you're just here for the daily vlogs, then I do apologize because this is going to be a long video, which is exciting for all of you nail polish lovers. Um, but it's also going to be today's vlog, so it's a little bit different from my everyday stuff. Um, anyway, everything's good, daily life is fine, I don't really have anything specific I wanted to talk about today, so I'm just going to finally get right into the polish. We'll start with the less exciting stuff and work our way over, so definitely stick around for the more unique or higher end things. Um, First of all, I went to, sorry, I have dust everywhere because I have dust all over my makeup table and I don't, if you see stuff flying around in this video, that's what it is. Stop flailing your hands, Jackie. So, I went to the Fashion District in downtown LA with my sister Froggy a couple days ago and I browsed their polish racks. I picked up a bunch last time I was out there. So this time I just got two. This one I thought would be fun for layering. It's um, by Clean Color and it's called Sugar Coat. Looks like that, just an iridescent, like, larger of the, the glitter. I want to call it things it isn't. It's glitter. And the next one I picked up from there is just called Hollow Blue, also by Clean Color. Mildly holographic, looks like a pretty blue jelly. I haven't tried it, I haven't even swatched it. No idea what I'll think of it, but it seemed like a fun one. Then I was at Sally Beauty a few weeks back. They were doing a 50% off the already marked down clearance stuff, and I found a couple Orleys I was really excited about. I don't remember if I talked about this with you guys around Halloween, but I was desperate for black with orange glitter, or orange with black glitter, or some combination thereof. I found this one, which is called R.I.P., which is a black... I'm assuming jelly with um, orange glitter in it. And I also found Right Amount of Evil, which is an orange with silver glitter in it. And I'm less pumped on this one, but it was $2.25. So for a full size Orly, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I picked this one up at full price because they were doing a buy a full-size Orly, get a cuticle oil for free, and there was also a thing on Facebook that day that said you could have full-size Orly for free, and I showed it to the girls that worked there, but they wouldn't honor it for me, and when I commented on the Facebook page, um, the Sally reps got back to me and asked me specifically what store, and blah, 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 but then they never got back to me again, so it's like, okay, I didn't get it for free, but I got something for free with it, and this one is called Androgyny, it's spelled funny, Androgyny. Okay. It's um, really cool. I've worn this one. It's got like iridescent glitters and a black base and some smaller holographic silver glitter. It's really cool. Um, the other thing I picked up from that. Oh, here's the free thing. Let's show you that. Orly Argan Cuticle Oil. Tiny little bottle. Um, I've used it once. I liked it, but my cuticles are always a wreck. So we'll see if that gets any better with those. Um, the last thing I got was this Northern Lights hologram top coat in silver by out the door I've read about this in blogs um, it looks like nothing right now right like totally clear this stuff blew my mind I couldn't even find it on the shelf because I was expecting it to be sparkly and it wasn't but that's what it looks like after you shake it and my friend Courtney was nice enough to help me find it on the shelf and it looks really pretty over everything I specifically got it to go over Aurora by Zoya, or Blaze, Blaze by Zoya, because in the bottle it's got these little silver hollow flecks, and, and my nails it didn't have that, and I thought this would make them have it, so 
that was everything that I picked up from that little Sally run. Um, and then a few assorted other brands. I've got this one from Essie. This one is Bangle Jangle. I don't remember what collection it came out with. Probably the one that had like School of Hard Rocks and stuff in it. Light purple. Not particularly unique, but a beautiful cream color. And I kind of have a passion for all things purple, green, and blue. Especially creams. So it like, had to happen. Um, I got that with store credit on Amazon. Same with this one. This is China Glaze Aquadelic, which now that I look at it in person, it looks almost exactly like For Audrey to me. But my bottle of For Audrey is half empty, so I'm excited. I haven't tried this one yet. I haven't swatched them side by side. But, um, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I was really on a kick of specific colors this time around, so, you know, bear with me. Uh, the next one is by Zoya. This is another one from their spring collection. This one is Neely. It's like a almost a celery green. It's in between like mint and celery, I guess. I really like it. I had it on my nails like last week or something, so groovy. Um, then I have a mini OPI. I the minis of OPI don't have the names on them, but I think this is a Goldfinger or something from the Bond collection. They don't usually sell them individually, but I know a place that takes the little box sets apart and sells them separately. And I have this, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, of course. The name on it. Ooh, dropping stuff, making nail polish noises. Uh, the next few OPIs are all from older collections. I was really, really excited to find these two here. These are both from the Shrek collection that came out in 2010, and I never thought I'd find these. I have a couple others from that collection, but had pretty much given up hope on any of the others. So I still hope to someday pick up what's with the Catitude, because I don't own that one. But in the meantime, I got this one, which is Rumpel's Wigan. See, there's a black line across the bottom. It was even on sale, guys. How cool is that? So there's Rumpel's Wigan. And here is Ogre the Top Blue, which makes me want to buy Susie something Feng Shui really badly, even though they're similar, because I'm crazy and need them all. They're like Pokemons, you got to collect them. Um, and then this one is actually very sheer. It's from, I think, last year's Soft Shades collection, or maybe the year before even. Gosh, I think last year. Like the New York Ballet collection is called Care to Dance. It's a very light purple jelly. I thought it would look great for layering over glitters. Um, this one is Gargantuan Green Grape, which is also one of the core collections by OPI, but I have never owned it, and like I said, I'm on this kick right now, so that's what happened. Plus, I get a discount where I go shop for these, so like none of them were full price. It was pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? This is also from that New York Ballet collection. This is called Pirouette My Whistle. Smaller silver glitters and like a sheer clear sparkly base. It does look really cool layered with the light purple one. And then the last one is what I have on my nails today, or the last of that set, because there's, there's still more. There's still more and they get better. They get even more exciting. You guys should hang out. Um, but this is what's on my nails right now. This is actually Skull and Gloss Bones from the um, On Stranger Tides Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I randomly stumbled across it today in the store while I was browsing, and I thought to myself, you're probably never going to see it again. You don't want to order it online and pay a ton of money. Just pick it up. So I followed my own advice. And I'm really excited because, as I said, it's on my nails right now, and I'm just torn as to what glitter I'm going to... Sorry, I'm distracted by an air bubble. Torn as to what glitter I plan on putting over it when I get tired of the plain cream finish. Next I have two colors from this spring's Soft Shades, I think that's what it's called, collection. This is the one that's inspired by the Oz the Great and Powerful movie. I've always been obsessed with The Wizard of Oz, not so much the Technicolor musical. Um, if you guys have ever seen the movie Return to Oz with Feruza Balk, that's way more my style. I saw that one before I saw the musical Wizard of Oz thing, so... When I saw that one, I was like, this isn't the Oz I'm familiar with. My grandfather used to read the books to me when I was young. Um, I have an autographed copy of one of the books. It's just, it's Oz is hugely important to me. So I couldn't help but pick up a couple of the colors, even though overall I wasn't crazy about the collection. This one is I Theodore You, Theodora. Um, it's a light pink. It's probably kind of sheer and probably takes a few coats to build up. But even though I'm sure I have stuff very similar to it, um, couldn't resist. Oz collection suckered me in. And this one is Lights of Emerald City, which is little iridescent squares and bigger white squares. And I've worn this once, kind of have to use the dab method with it, but 
it's so unique and I know I would be kicking myself if I didn't pick it up now so it's like spend eight bucks now or nine bucks or well, whatever you spend seven fifty somewhere spend that now or like forever be trolling eBay looking at like mad as a hatter which is selling for like 40 to 80 dollars going I hate myself for not buying this in the first place because I'm still mad that I don't own that one and I don't want to make that mistake again next I have seven of the twelve from the Euro Central collection because they were kind of amazing I had originally just picked up six but then I had to go back and get a seventh so I have and I'm making faces because it's like oh my gosh how many do you need but like I said they're Pokemon I have to catch them all I don't know um this one is polka.com multicolored pink blue and purple glitter and a clear base looks good over pretty much everything from the collection um it's fun I'm starting to burn out on glitters a tiny tiny bit just because I know the creams are classic and gonna like always work but a unique glitter kind of gets me every time and I, I it happened so there this one is OPI you're so euro looks like that. I hear it's comparable to Royal by Revlon, but I have not tried this one yet at all, so hopefully you guys can see that well. I don't know how my lighting looks in here, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Their names, OPI, you guys, your names, I get it, you're trying to have something going on, and like I used to think they were kind of good, but like they're starting to kind of de degenerate, is that the right word? I'm not loving the names of these OPI polishes. This one is called Vaunt to Bite My Neck with a V, like a vampire. And it's like a purple color. I don't know. It doesn't make me think of vampires, but maybe there's something I don't know. If you guys know something that's like purple and vampire related, fill me in. This one is Can't Find My Checkbook. I did have this one on a few days ago as well. I freaking love this. It's one of the coolest blues I've ever seen. It's sort of comparable to Yummy by Zoya, but it's a little bit lighter. Um, I like it. This one is I Saw, You Saw, We Saw, Warsaw. That's a mouthful. Um, dark cream blue, similar to like Siberian Nights, but not, I think, Siberian Nights or Sapphire in the Snow or some other discontinued ones from a while back, but it's a little bit bluer. Haven't tried it yet. It's pretty. This one is You're Such a Budapest, which has a really, really faint hidden shimmer in it, and I'm glad the shimmer is not really visible, but it does help the formula some. I have it on my toes right now. It's been on for like a week and a half, and it's held up brilliantly. Really, really pretty. And then this is the seventh color from the collection that I went back for, and I really don't think I'm going to pick up any of the others. Um, maybe Susie's Hungry again, because that one's cute, but I do have stuff similar to it. But otherwise, I wasn't like completely blown away with the rest. This one is called My Vampire is Buff. Now, if you know me, you know that A, I don't really like vampires, and B, that kind of makes me think of Twilight, which is like the reason I super don't like vampires, because of all the vampires out there, the Twilight Saga, and I'm sorry guys if you like it, I'm so sorry, please don't hate me, please don't turn the video off now because of it, I'm not going to talk smack, but I'm just not a Twilight fan, I'm just not. I used to work at Borders, I used to have to sell the books and the DVDs and just dealing with the whole frenzy, you know, anyone who's fanatical about anything, and granted I'm sitting here showing you like three billion nail polishes, so you have every right to judge, but that's just my personal opinion and it is not meant to offend anybody. Um, last but most certainly not least, I, for the first time ever, placed an order or a couple orders online on Etsy for some independent nail polishes. Uh, the first one is from a company called R and something apothecary. They call their polishes hit polish and she was having a sale on her minis. So I just picked up a couple of those because I wasn't really familiar. I hadn't read a lot of feedback about the brand and I thought I better just get little ones in case they're no good. But these are beautiful and I haven't swatched them because they just came in the mail today. But these are super beautiful and I'm really excited. This first one is called Fairy Garden, and it does have some little butterflies in there as well as green and blue and maybe some silver going on. A little bit of bar glitter, different sized roundies. It's just super, super pretty. I thought it would look great over um, any pastels for springtime, and 
as you guys can see, I picked up quite a few of those, so I thought that would be a fantastic topper. Um, the next one is called You're Such a Square. I love the name. I love the polish. This is a rainbow square glitter. They're multicolored squares. I hope that it's showing up for you guys, but yeah, rainbow square glitter. How cool is that? And this one is called Punked Up Kicks. I guess it's like a, um, from the, the song Punk, Pumped Up Kicks, but this says Punked. Um, anyway, I don't know what it has to do with sneakers. It doesn't really make me think of them, but it's got teeny, 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 tiny black and white glitter and some blue, green, and pink glitters. I was mostly attracted by the itty bitty little black and white ones in there. I thought that was different that they were so small. And that's everything I ordered from the R and whatever apothecary. Maybe I'll link it below because um, I'm sorry I'm not remembering the name correctly and I certainly don't mean to diminish them. They're beautiful colors and the label says hit polish but I know the name of the store was different. And then the very last thing I have to show you guys are two full size bottles from Black Cat Lacquer which you may have heard of. They're on Etsy. I've seen a lot of the bigger nail bloggers reviewing their stuff or her stuff or whatever. I don't know if it's just one person or there's a whole team. I think maybe just the one. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm sorry, I should know more about this before I film it, but I was so excited to film this for you and I'll show you why at the very end of the video. So the two colors I got from Black Cat Lacquer are Let Them Eat Cake, which is another perfect for springtime one. Pastel green, blue, and pink glitters with some little white speckles mixed in. And I thought that would look really good as a jelly sandwich or layered over any pastel. And this one is just too freaking cool. This one is called Vogue, and it's got different sizes of black and white glitter along with rainbow super fine glitter. So, yeah. Wowzers. Right, guys? Super pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take the camera and turn you guys around. Here's an overview of all the ridiculousness. Here's what I had my camera on. This was my little tripod-y thingy thing. Um... Yeah, this is a disaster. I'll hold you guys out here like this so you can at least watch me struggle. I don't know why my OCD requires me to put everything back. I'm like in the middle of filming. You think the least I could do is finish the video before I have to fix that. But um, yeah, in case any of you haven't seen it before, this is my vanity table. This is where I do my makeup. This is where I have all the stuff I just showed you. Those are my fingers. Um, oh yeah, Froggy moved out of the room. For anybody who's been watching me regularly, there's no more Froggy, no more her bed. She lives in Jordy's old room because Jordy moved out of the house and in with one of our friends. And the reason that I was so desperate to get this vlog or this nail polish haul or whatever filmed for you guys today is because I moved all my nail polish into my bedroom. In addition to this, whatchamacallit right there, uh, plastic Tupperware thingy, I took the racks out of my bathroom and I put them in my bedroom and I kind of reorganized how I had them color coded because heaven forbid it's not a rainbow but I put the reds and oranges and stuff on the bottom and worked up from there. The reason there's a big old gap there is because I was kind of hoping that all the new polishes that I have over there by my desk would fit but I don't know if you guys are uh, any good at math but this looks like it can maybe hold maximum eight more polishes right there. There's a little bit more than eight polishes over there, so some of them are going in that drawer. This is probably going to have to be reworked in some capacity, because it's just not going to work the way it is right now. I know that for sure. Anyway, let's see here. Take this tripod off, flip this around so you guys are looking at me. I've been filming for a while, so I think it's time to bid you guys adieu and tell you that I appreciate your watching my videos so, so much, and... As I said, if you're here more for daily vlogs versus nail polish videos, well, why are you still here? It's been almost 20 minutes. Um, I'm kidding. Thank you for watching and putting up with this if you're not into it. And if you are into it, then do stay tuned because in addition to my daily vlogs, I make videos like this as often as necessary. Um, comment below with what your favorite colors are for spring. Comment below with what your favorite colors are that I just showed you. Thumbs up for nail polish. Make me video responses showing me what you guys just picked up and tell me if you want to see any color comparisons or swatches or what the glitters look like over other colors and all that good stuff. And as always guys, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!